Hi guys, welcome to my coffee shop. My name is Jack and today we are playing with hand grinders. Today we are going to compare Commandante C40 MK4 with new Commandante C60 Barracuda. Honestly, I'm so excited here. So what we're going to do today? I will talk about some similarities and differences first and then we're going to pull espresso and a pour over. As always, we will attempt to do a blind tasting. So underneath each cup, there is a number. Number one is for C40. Number two will be for C60. And by the end, I will try to answer the question, which one is better? And is C60 a worthy upgrade from C40? So. Click like, sit tight and enjoy! Commandante C40 has been around for a while, people still consider it to be a gold standard, although plenty of you would probably disagree. At some point probably it was the best hand grinder, one of the best hand grinders, but competition is fierce and Commandante very reluctant to change. So we all have been waiting for something new, for some upgrades and yes, this year Commandante introduced C60 Barracuda. I knew from the beginning that I want to have it. And it wasn't easy to get it. I wrote an email to Commandante asking them if they maybe could send me something. Apparently I'm not famous enough, so I had to wait till it was widely available. And here we have it. So what kind of changes, what kind of improvements, what kind of upgrades we can expect? Let's start with the box. Commandante C40 comes in that ridiculously big box. Commandante C60, on the other hand, comes in the exactly the same a big box of a different coloring. There is that nice colorful sticker, but the size of those two boxes exactly the same. Why do they have to put a relatively tiny grinder in such a big box? Inside that box, you pretty much find the same things uh, in a C40 and a C60, maybe some different stickers, different paperwork. Another thing that I've noticed is that that cloth in a C60, it got a brand name on it, while the C40, it doesn't. Talking about the ridiculous things, inside the box of C60 you find this smaller box just for the grinder itself. Compare those two boxes. C40 comes in many different colors and finishes so my one as you can see it's a wood. You get a two cups. One is made out of glass and one is made out of kind of an undistractable plastic polymer or something. Inside you will find lots of stainless steel and also a little bit of the plastic, so the plastic supports and also that plastic knob that you use to change the settings. Commandante C60 on the other hand is made out of steel. They say it's a one block of steel that they made the body of this grinder. The size of those two grinders the same. The width of those two grinders, the same. But there is a significant difference in a weight. Commandante C40 with this glass jar, with the handle, it weights around 635 grams. While C60 with the plastic jar, it weights over 1 kg. So if you are looking for the grinder to travel with, well, you have to consider the weight of this grinder. Barracuda, as far as I know, comes in only one color with two jars. One is clear and one, as you can see, is a kind of a violet color. Because of the size of them is the same, so you can easily use your C40 jar for C60 and so on. There is a significant difference in the cranks in the handles of those two grinders. Both of them got that dark plastic top. Commandante C40 is kind of a silvery crank with the smaller wooden knob made out of oak. Commandante C60 it's a dark color with bigger knob. Apart from that plastic bit on top and the polymer jars you won't find any plastic inside here. To change the settings on C60, you get uh, what Commandante calls uh, gold clicks, which is actually made out of brass. You would think that Commandante will design something with maybe numbers so we know exactly which click we are on. No! No, it's still exactly the same confusing system. I like the look of that gold clicks, but the plastic one, when you change the settings, it feels kind of more comfortable in hand. To change the settings in both of those grinders, you have to rotate that clicks, that knob at the bottom. In both of those grinders, you have 12 clicks per revolution. In both of those grinders, if you want to grind for pour over and so on, you would have to do multiple revolutions. Another difference here that I've noticed, maybe because my C60 is unseasoned, lots of static 
I'm getting on that gold clicks. I just want to mention the feel I'm getting from those two grinders. So the wood feels warm, natural. The metal hill obviously will be a bit cold. And then when you move from that coldness of the metal into the plastic, it's kind of a weird feeling. Not important for the grinding or anything else. And if I got a glass jar with this one, I would still complain why we are getting glass jar, it's easy to break and so on. If your hand gets sweaty, it will be more slippery on that wooden surface than on the metal surface. But otherwise I haven't noticed any issues holding the grips on both of those grinders. Now let's talk about the heart of those two grinders. That's where the biggest difference lies. In Commandante C40 you got that conical 39 millimeters burst, high nitro burst with the special geometry. In Commandante C60 the same material but the burrs are much much bigger, 60 millimeters. Those are huge burrs, one of the biggest burrs in a hand grinders. The geometry of those two burrs, at least to myself, they look the same. Bigger burrs, lots of static, that means retention. C40, pretty much zero retention, maybe 0.1 sometimes. With C60, I often get 0.2 sometimes more. So now, bigger crank, bigger burst, obviously it will be a faster grinder. But to grind on a C40, even on the lowest settings, it is relatively easy. Okay, it takes a while, but no effort here. You can talk, you can grind easy. On C60, even for a purova, but especially for espresso, especially with the light roast coffee, it is an effort. I had that one coffee that was very light, very dense, and and honestly, I thought I will break that crank. And we also have to mention the price. And the difference here is significant. This one, not cheap, but this one is more than twice as expensive. They say it's because it's so difficult to make that they used some engineering that they normally goes in a cars and so on. Yes, maybe. What do I know? They make it in Germany. That's not cheap. But at least for the price, they could give us a brush, which we really do need for this grinder. <laughs> Okay, I talked a lot. I fancy a coffee. You want to see the results. So let's start with the espresso. We're going to use a default profile on this and I slightly modified it. And we're going to use this uh, heresy coffee roasters from Poland. This is the coffee from uh, Guatemala. A mixture of two different beans. One is natural, one is washed. It should be nice, sweet, caramely, jammy, fruity and whiny. Well, <laughs> let's do it. Two shots are ready. It took me forever, over an hour to dial it in. Especially with C40, it is tricky because each click can change a lot. And also, depending on how fast you grind, that also changes the distribution of particles. And when you're frustrated, you want to grind faster and that changes a lot. I will choose one at random, taste it. I will taste the other one and then I will share with you my findings. Okay, so I've been tasting, testing. They are pretty much the same. There is some sweetness, there is some sourness, like a well-balanced shot nothing special but not bad either I don't know same body same flavor notes maybe I'm getting slightly more like a juiciness in this shot let's say I will choose this one so this is it could go both ways I cannot say for sure which one was better so as you could see the extraction itself was not looking perfect I've been using this one recently to make everything more even just to be sure I done this test few times extend the extraction shorten the extraction in terms of the taste I cannot really notice that much difference maybe that 5% more brightness in a cup from a C60 let's do a pour over test now <laughs> we're going to use this uh, Amac this is a coffee roaster from Rotterdam. This particular coffee is anaerobic coffee from Kenya with the flavor notes of rose hip and raspberries. And let's try this one. So this just arrived. That's a new version of Oria. Let's pour it. Once again, it's difficult to say which is which. I can taste juiciness, I can taste that rose hip somewhere in the background, sourness in both of them, but not a sharp sourness you would get from, for example, K Ultra. In both cups, you can find deep flavors. This cup, probably 5% more sourness, but that's the only difference. And honestly, I have to look very deep to find anything. So, what it is? 
Well, it's a Barracuda. It's a, it's a C60. So possibly there is a trend slightly more of the fruitiness, but that much. So guys, my final conclusions. You know, I've been thinking a lot and I'm actually recording this part on another day. I think I was a bit too harsh in my initial reactions uh, towards C60. If you remember, if you are regular to this channel, since I got my C40, my two main complaints were about the settings difficult to dial in for espresso and also about the time of the grinding and you know what they actually improved all of that in that c60 so why do i complain it grinds much faster at least twice as fast each click changes the settings by about 21 microns so much much easier to dial in with this grinder for espresso yes you can get red clicks for this one that would gives you a bit more settings yes you can get that longer handle long longer crank for this one that probably would speed up the process a little bit but then that adds up to the cost so the question i want to answer is this one is c60 a worthy upgrade from c40 and if you are looking for a hand grinder should you get c60 if you are familiar with the flavor notes from c40 this one won't surprise you at all it will be as good as c40 maybe five percent better possibly with more seasoning it will get to ten percent better but otherwise very similar so if you have no complaints about the speed of grinding and the settings on c40 stay with c40 save yourself lots of money if you are looking for a new hand grinder you may consider this one but the competition is really fierce and there are lots of very very good grinders that are also much cheaper than this one i will still be comparing this one with my current favorite one z easy press okay ultra at the moment i cannot say if this one is better or worse the flavor profile from commandante if you're not familiar it's kind of everything in the middle and the body in the middle no harsh tones not too bitter not too sour satisfying but sometimes boring i think i'm going to keep it at least for a while i like things that are well made if i can afford them i want to have them and this is definitely something like that it looks awesome it works well a bit difficult to grind for espresso but i will still be mostly using it for the pour over the one thing that they could have improved and they haven't that old-fashioned setting system if you are still here definitely click like subscribe to the channel plenty more things coming we will be comparing this grinder with my other grinders we will be playing with other things if you are a fan of c40 please let us know in the comments why do you like it if you had a chance to try c60 please share your opinion with us and also let us know what is your favorite hand grinder and why but for today thank you very much for watching my name is jack this is my coffee show and hopefully i will see you soon thank you bye <laughs>